my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Alright guys, so let's go into Photoshop. Let's start with today's tutorial. And so I'm going to use uh, dimension um, that I use often on my YouTube handle. Uh, it's going to be 2000 pixels here, 2000 pixels here. Make sure you set here to pixels, 72 here, pixels per inch, RGB color here. And then let's call it Party Flyer. And then click on Create. I also like to go to View and then set here to new guard layout and then set here to six set here to six one inch one inch over here across click here click here click here and then click on ok and then let's start with the design so i'm going to start with the background now with the background i want to start with solid color and i'm going to use this particular color code 6220a2f and then ok and i also like to bring in um Let's bring bring in this floor, drag it into it, and then maybe resize it over there. Okay, so something like this. Drag it down here, and then give it a mask. Click over here to give it a mask. There's a mask. Click on your brush tool over here. Go over here, and then make sure you choose a soft round brush. Make sure your caps lock is also off, so that you can see the tip of the brush. And then set here to color black. And then set here to hundred. Set here to hundred. Also make sure your the hardness is zero over here you can use your bracket keys to just make it bigger or smaller and then just mask it now if, to be able to mask it make sure you click over here so that you can be able to mask it now let's click over here we want to set it to darken just to make it more darker and blend in there like that as well now secondly i want to give it a new layer all right and then i want to come here and pick this particular color code f nine six d a nine and then click on okay and then maybe just click over here now over here control t and then hold shift and then alt depending on the version of photoshop you are using you can be able to transform it once you hold those two, those two keys alt and shift okay so you can see something like this and then um duplicate it and then this time resize it much more bigger great now i also think that we can um you know bring in some of the elements as well let's see which one can we bring let's bring this one drag it in there like that and then uh, maybe let's rotate it horizontal and flip it like that let's keep it somewhere here and then um do it the mask click on your brush make sure here is color black reduce the brush a little bit click over here and then maybe mask the side so we are going to stick to this for the meantime and then um what else what else what else we want to make the background very rich so i'm going to drag this one in there again i just want to make the background rich okay and then i'll go here and then set it to divide nice i'll give it a mask click on the mask Increase the size of the brush, set here to color black, 100 here, remember 100 here, you're using brush over here, and then you mask the edge, let's just mask the edge so that I can blend in nice, alright, alright, so, I like how it looks like, in the meantime, um, maybe control, shift, alt, and then click on E as well, control, shift, alt, and then E as well, all of them press them at the same time you're going to have something like this i want you to convert it to smart object now i want you to go to uh filter and then go to filter gallery there here go and look for water paper okay and then come and click on set here to 15 set here to 60 set here to 80 and then click on okay i'm going to put everything in a group and then i'm going to call it bg now we're done with our background let's start with um, maybe our text uh let's start with our text and then let's see champagne i'll paste it there open my character and then i'm going to use impact 
nice i'm gonna set the color to color white now you can't see it so let's make it more visible let's use 315 awesome the truck and let's set it to zero over here let's make it all caps over here Control t or close it and then Control t make sure it's in the middle here awesome duplicate it hold shift or click on the move to hold shift and then drag it down now you also want to type a champagne night right so that's what you're trying to do champagne night but we don't want to use impact for this we want to use morganite see how morganite looks like um let's set it to five six zero and then the track and let's set it to zero over here make sure it's all caps as well color white as well over here make sure here and here are all hundred throughout okay but over here I want to make it maybe bold let me see yeah make it bold let's drag it down like that drag it in a little bit i think this is great let's duplicate the champagne and drag it up a little bit more and then let's pick that k bunny present and paste it there now we want to use montserrat for it I want to set the font size to 35. Oh, so that, that's good. And then over here, so let's set the truck into 500. All right. And then let's maybe perhaps bring it to the middle here. And then let's see. Now, maybe just from by here, I like to select it and then choose bold. Just to bring some contrast in there as well. And I think it's good. Let's see it again aligned well let's select all the three let's put it in a group let's just call it champagne ctrl t and then let's rotate it like that drag it here all right something like this i think something like this is good it's not bad but it doesn't look nice now but uh, it's going to make sense quite quite later all right so now let's start adding some few stuff to it I feel like we should add this to it so that it will start making sense to us. Drag it in there and then drag it like that. Quite big. Uh, let's see how it looks like. Be quite bigger. Drag it this side. It's okay if it covers the champagne. Alright, it's, it's okay. Really okay if it covers the champagne. Because I feel like people will still know it's champagne. <laughs> people will still know. Yeah, they will know. So something like this is good. Okay, so champagne. Now people will still know champagne. Now once we have it there like that, uh let's see if we can add some few stuff to it. Uh what else? What else? I think we need to add some shadows over here, right? Let me duplicate it first. The one underneath it, double click it and then let's go to drop shadow and then set it to multiply set it to color black set it to 71 angle here to 90 in fact the angle here what should we set it to let's set it to 119 let's see yeah i like the way you know you can see it over here casting it on the ground here you can see it that's what we want and then let's also set it to 8 set it to 0 set it to 3 and that is all now give this one a mask the one underneath it click on the mask click on your brush to set it to color black and then make sure it's a soft brown brush here 100 here 100 and then make sure caps lock is soft so that we can see the tip of the brush maybe decrease the size a little bit and then clean it around all the bucket all areas of the bucket just clean it over here to just double clean it over there like that so the shadow is casted over here and it's casted over here as well i like the way it looks now i like the way it looks um what else can we add to it just to make it much more realistic um let's see let's see let's see let's see okay maybe i would like to give it this drag it underneath it as well take my brush come here and then choose black and then maybe increase a little bit one hit and then Click on my move tool and then I can move it around like like this now. Maybe 
I could just just give it more effect you know something like this you can see from from here to here now gives it a much more effect and uh, I think I like it yeah I think I like it one more thing let's bring in this one too as well drag it in there and then drag it up here like that now because you know let's let me zoom in so that you can see it well because the champagne over here has some white around it it's not going to look nice i don't want to spend time cleaning it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag it into the champagne here all right okay so that it blends with everything over there blends with everything over there all right so i think this is good now i'm going to put everything in a group and i'm going to call it bucket and then i'm going to give it a curve all right so let's give it a curve clip the curve to it and then i'm going to leave here like this just going to drag here down like that now by doing that i end up boosting the contrast over there so beautiful right now let's go and then let's bring in some eyes all right let's bring this one first drag it into photoshop and then okay let's drag it underneath the bucket you can't see it but let's bring it somewhere here all right let's increase it a little bit something like this is good okay so something like this is good but then the color scheme is not really nice and so we got to do something about it first one is let's give it some hue and saturation and then clip it to it all right and then let's drag all the way to zero and then over here let's leave it like that now the th next thing is uh, let's just make it more contrast so let's give it some level and then the level let's set here to one okay it's gonna work over here for us let's set here to 0 0.73 0 0.73 make sure you flipped it to it okay flip it to it over here yeah let's choose 199 all right so this is how it looks like now over here it brings the eyes out a little bit more and that's great let's put it in a group and let's call it eyes one and then let's create another eyes again you know composition those looks it look, the composition looks quite great let's bring this one i think let's bring this one in there okay now this one i want to put it somewhere here i want to put it somewhere here all right i think this is great now with this one as well the color is not really good so we just need to work on it again or as well uh so i'm going to pick uh hue and saturation as usual and then the hue um let me see um uh, let's set the hue to minus one four let's see make sure you clip it to it guys clip it to it it's going to affect everything and then over here let's see let's set here to minus four six as well and then the lightness let's leave it like that all right and then let's close it let's see that's great it's some subtle effect over there let's pick levels to levels let's set here to eight let's set here to 0 0.46 the let's set here to 255 you know as usual make sure you clip it to it guys clip it to it clip it to it now the contrast is too much but it's good right it's good let's put it in a group and let's call it eyes three the eyes looks nice mm -hmm. let's put it all in a group and let's call it eyes nice 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 i like it i like it already Okay, so now let's bring in some uh you let's let see which one should we bring let's bring this let's bring in some milk but well, we don't want it to look like a milk something okay but it's actually milk let's bring it on top and then control t and then let's flip it horizontal let's do something like this all right okay and then over there something like that okay I think I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to 
work on it anything i'm just going to leave it like that but i'll put i'll put it in the group and i'll call slash one maybe slash one is good so let's bring in this one drag it in there and leave it here like that drag it somewhere here okay now the trick is that we want it to be at the same level as this okay so maybe somewhere here or let's reduce it a little bit more okay something like this i think something like this is good uh, we, are, we are going to do just one thing let's give it a shadow let's bring it down let's click on our brush to set the color black let's see what happened to my brush oh boy what happened to my brush I don't know how to apply the brush is behaving, but um, it's still good. So, so you can see the effect over there, right? Let's put it there like that. It makes it look like the shadow is behind it. Let's put it in the group. Let's call it this. Oh. Uh maybe I should bring in another eyes, right? I did, I think I didn't use this eyes. So let me bring it into it. And then drop it here, bring it down like that. Now pick my pen to I just want to clean some fuse stuff are we all right now go to selection and then select and then click on the mask here double click it and then click on invert okay now i have click on your move to okay so we can move it now i have the eyes maybe i bring it somewhere here <clears throat> okay so i think this is great um what else are we going to do to it let's maybe give it some levels right level now you can see the eyes over here is very contrast and quite nice we need to do the same thing to this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to clip this to the eye and once i clip it to it i'm going to set here to let's say nine seven let me see ah i can see it over there it works well yeah, it's working well over there let's set here to 0.92 or some let's see here at 255 okay now i can feel the contrast in there let me also give it a hue and saturation just to blend it make sure you also clip it as well and then over here three four one all right and then let's also if I, let me colorize it colorize so that i can take the color out let me set it to three four one again let me see mm -hmm coming well let's set it to 30 let's see coming well let's set it to zero i think i think this is great i think this is great oh i think this is great but then this one looks nice this one doesn't look nice so i don't know what we have to do maybe we'll have to go back again let's call it eyes let's go to eyes let's go to eyes two and then go to hue and saturation hit on colorize all right i like it i like it i like it i like it it looks good so far now you can see that the ball here is showing underneath it doesn't make it look too realistic so that means that we got to push it up awesome awesome so i like this so far and then now let's um so this eyes all right now let's bring in some few um some few elements around let's drag this one in there and the purpose of this one is just to make it more photorealistic i'm going to push it somewhere here all right push it somewhere here and then maybe i'll give it some level okay sorry click over here and then push this one here as well okay all right so uh i'll duplicate oh let me see let me put all of them into let me duplicate it all right now this and this control e to make it one right click it and then also create smart object all right so what i'm going to do is this one i'm going to go to filter i'm going to go to blur and i'm going to motion blur now motion blur um let's see let me bring it away so i can see it i am going to set the angle here to 
minus 16 one six so it looks like it's going this way i don't know if you can see it you can see it looks like it's going this way and that is great and then also over here let's set 61 so it doesn't go too much just a little bit of it awesome i also like to give it a, ma uh, <laughs> a mask click on my brush tool and just click clean over here i mean this looks great now right let's put it in a group let's call it class one duplicate it let's call it class two let's zoom out so let's pick glass two let's pick somewhere here all right let's make it like this and then something like that over here let's open it let's go here to the motion blur then the motion blur let's set here to three okay this side to three and let's set here to one four one all right something like that okay so um the glass two is also good now let's just um you know give it some shine somewhere let's give it this let's take our brush increase the size of the brush come here this color white and then let's increase the size a little bit let's hit where should we hit let's hit where the eyes is ah oh, that looks great give it another one again let's hit somewhere here okay that looks great give it another one again which one should we hit again somewhere here <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going on. what is wrong with my brush what is wrong with my brush add round soft round no what is wrong with my brush well we'll just use a tool like that i don't know why but i'll call it shine okay now let's bring in some dates in here let's go here let's pick september 30th and paste it there now let's open it and then let's use uh Montserrat for it or should we use impact let's use impact impact is very bold and then let's call here let's give it 98 for the size okay here let's use uh zero over here let's use 84 over here 84 okay and then the color white as well over here let's drag it somewhere here and then duplicate it bring it up and then let's um pick saturday go back to photoshop double click it and then paste it there and then drag it down now let's go over here let's set it to monster right and then let's click over here and give it this color let's use f e d four three i color yellow and then let's drag it down a little bit now let's control t and then let's put it like that okay too much i want it to blend over here like that So I think this is great. I think this is great. Then uh, let's call it date. Let's call it date. Let's add in some other details as well. Let's pick this. All right. And then bring in my lines. And then let me see whether I can re. All right. Align it well. I want it to be um regular and so it's going to be regular ctrl t again let's close this one first ctrl t and then let's make sure it is middle aligned i drag it up a little bit ctrl j to duplicate it and then let's drag it down a little bit more and then let's pick this one and then let's paste it in there now this one i want to i want to make it quite bold okay and then ctrl t let's close this one ctrl t and then let's align it and then let's duplicate it again and then let's bring it down and then let's pick this ctrl c to copy it and then let's paste it there 
now let's also make sure it is middle aligned i know there's, there's an easy way of doing it right i just I, i'm just doing it the hard way all right now let's pick this one and then let's create uh what do we call it okay let's create that drag it underneath it and then control t let's make sure it's also middle aligned now double click it and let's use f d 0049 enter all right and let's also make sure control h to hide the lines let's make sure the location is in the middle of the entire mix all right i like it so far i think this is great um yeah that's good let's put everything in a group let's call it other detail i think this particular one does nothing over there let's just delete it right so um let's see we have something like this which is quite nice i think the only thing left now is to add our color gradient to make everything look beautiful so i'll go to my gradient map and then i'll click here then i'll double click here i'll come and choose color black for it awesome now i'll click somewhere here set the location here to 27 ah uh, sorry double click it and then now let's give it this color 543318 and then okay let's double click here let's set here to c 0 e and then let's click on ok here let's click on ok here and then let's set it to soft light awesome i like it so far but i still feel like making it much more interesting and so because that's what happens when you're dealing with uh, party flyers there's a lot of contrast there's a, there's a lot of brightness and stuff like that a lot of exposures as well i want to drag this side here then i want to drag this side here as well yeah i think that's it that's it that's it that's it and then um put it in a group and then call it color gray now guys thank you very much for watching this video it's been a long time but i'm back now if you love this video please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel i have a lot of videos on my channel more is to come as well i don't want you to miss any other videos so please hit the bell icon and subscribe as well i love you all see you in the next tutorial peace